A story is like a Giacometti sculpture. The farther it is away from you, the clearer you can see it. The voice of Mango Street was born at the moment when I realized I was different. Chicago with many cultures versus Iowa. I lived in third floor flats scrubbed with pine saw. I had an anti-academic voice, a child's voice, a girl's voice, a poor girl's voice, a spoken voice, the voice of a Mexican American. This book is about my neighbors, my classmates, my family, my town, writers like Borges. I wanted to create a story like a collage, the desire to exchange shame for celebration. Esperanza, one thing I know for certain, you, reader, are Esperanza. Did you stay in school? College? Have a baby? Were you a victim? Did you let it overpower you? We moved a lot by the time we got to Mango Street. We were six. Mama, Papa, Carlos, Kiki, my sister Nanny, and me. Our house on Mango Street is small, red, with tight steps. Windows so small, they're holding their breath. My name is Esperanza. In English, it means hope. It is the Mexican records my father plays on Sunday mornings while he is shaving. Songs like sobbing. Great-grandmother is a horsewoman, born like me in the year of the horse. There's Kathy, the queen of cats, who lives upstairs and says she is the great-great-grand cousin of the queen of France. A good day is sharing a bike three ways. We ride past the grocery corner, the laundromat, the drugstore, the junk store, and people on the bus wave. Memi Ortiz has a sheepdog that looks like a man dressed in a dog suit. And pretty Marin is waiting for a car to stop, a star to fall, someone to change her life. My friends say the Eskimos have 30 different names for snow. They're right, I read it in a book. And a neighbor gave us dancing shoes that used to be white, and now they're pale blue, and we wear them to dress up and Then we're tired of being beautiful. I asked mom to make me a sandwich. And she says, you kids just like to invent work for me. Shame is a bad thing, you know, it keeps you down. I was a smart cookie. My cousin Chanclas' baptism is coming up. I have new clothes, a pink and white striped dress, a new slip. It's at the Precious Blood Church, dancing, tamales, and kids running all over the place. Papa says, Your abolito is dead, esta muerto. I have never seen my papa cry. Elenita, the witch woman with tarot cards, says, Be careful of the evil eye, and may the Virgin Mary bless you. Geraldo, with no last name, wears green pants and a shiny shirt. He was just someone she danced with, somebody she met that night, and now she's in the ER with him after a hit and run. I wanted to sit out bad at night still, a boy around my neck and the wind under my shirt. Mama Cita's brought from Mexico with a baby. All at once she bloomed, huge, enormous, beautiful to look at. Then there's Rafaela with long dark hair looking out the window, drinking papaya juice that someone towed up to her on a clothesline. The poet Minerva threw out her husband and then she came back black and blue. There's nothing I can do. One day, I'll own my own house, and passing bums will ask, can I come in? I'll offer them the attic. I won't forget where I came from. The family with the monkey moved to Kentucky. Once gone, we took over the garden. There were sunflowers as big as Mars and bow-tied fruit flies and dead cars that appeared like mushrooms. I don't like carnivals. Why did you leave me all alone? All the books and magazines, everything told it wrong. Only his dirty fingernails against my skin. Only his sour smell again. The red clowns laughing their thick tongue laugh. Sally marries a marshmallow salesman. She has her husband in her house now, her pillowcases and her plates. The lady with the blue vein hand said, When you leave, you must always come back for the others. A circle, understand? 
You will always be Mango Street. One day, I will have a house all my own, with my porch and my pillow, a house as quiet as snow, a space for myself to go, clean as paper before a poem. I put it down on paper and then the ghost does not ache so much. I have gone away to come back for the ones I left behind.